All right, Teddy just got done eating his peanut butter, his cat food. Now he's splashing around the water a little bit, so he'll be ready to go. I think I'm gonna go deal hunting today. I mean, it's kind of what I do every day, but I got a really nice blanket from Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday. It's a queen-sized quilt. Let me just show you. So there it is, top cover on my bed. I paid after tax $45 for that. It was 42 originally $140 and I got two shams with it so it was a really good deal and I can always use blankets oh Teddy Teddy no that's dangerous that's dangerous when he wants to get down he, he does whatever it takes to get down I don't think he's got to go are you gonna just go in your hole for me or am I gonna have to kind of yeah you don't want to go in your yeah, hole I look really weird like the blood's rushing to my head I look younger. <laughs> Gravity's pulling back on me, not pulling down. I look slightly Asian. Once again, I hope you're all doing well. And to all the people who subscribe to me for my e-bikes videos, I just keep apologizing because I can't, I can't think of anything to do to my e-bike. There's only so much you can do. Did he get up here? Oh, he loves this blanket too. I don't have anything to make. I was thinking about just putting new wheel bearings in the front tire just so I could have an e-bike video for you guys. I want to do some door dashing, but well, did, that, that petered out and I ended up deleting my, I ended up terminating my employment with them. Well, not really an employment, I guess, but my account. Of course, there's nothing I want here, so I don't even, I don't even know I'm here. I'm really just waiting for Bed Bath & Beyond to open. All right, turns out they don't open till 11, so I'll have to go back. I think I'm gonna go to the park and go for a walk. It's pretty windy today, so there might be some people checking out on coming here. I wonder what they're finding in that mud. So you are a big mallard. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that mallard. Two trout. Two channel cats, one largemouth bass, one five sunfish, and one grass carp. Water is constantly fed into here from a well. Well, look at you two. You think you're gonna get some food from me? I don't have anything for you, bud. We even have a pelican out there. Check it out. We got a nice little jungle gym here for the kids, but the real good one is off in the distance back there. Maybe I'll sneak over there. There might not be too many people over there right now. You'll have to excuse the wind. There are some kids in here. I suppose this is a good time to go check it out. Good time to play. I know if I was a kid, this would be pretty awesome. Yep. I wish I could have brought my kids here when they were young enough to really enjoy it. Alright, now we're going to go down here, away from the park. But we're going to get closer to the Colorado River. They have trails all over back in here. So if you want to get your exercise and kind of get away from people. I mean, this place can get a little bit busy, but it's so big that you can get away. Okay, and here's the Colorado River. So on the other side of this river is California. You can hear uh, I-10 in the background. It's pretty noisy. The wind is coming from that direction, so. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys where I come and walk so you can get an idea of what it's like. There is some green areas around here, but you gotta get by the river to find them. This is the overflow of water that comes from that pond. Well, oh, here comes somebody behind me. I'm gonna wait till they leave. So what does the future hold for me? What do I see as greener pastures right now? Everybody knows the greener pastures aren't always greener. But for me right now, I see, I see living in southeast Kansas, somewhere in Oklahoma, maybe Arkansas. And I would love to live in like Biloxi, 
Mississippi and places like that, but I just got a feeling that property is going to be a bit too expensive down there. But to have a house, a small house down there, maybe a small garage, a little shop, not too much, nothing expensive. And then just to get a regular job, uh, probably maybe a manufacturing job or even a job at Walmart or something like that. I don't need to make a ton of money. And then maybe find some friends at work to hang out with that I get along with. That's basically greener pastures for me right now. I don't know what's looking good to you. Let me know. Once again, I hope you're all doing, doing well. Hope your life is going good. Just remember, life isn't all about money and it isn't all about stuff. Now, even though I'm gonna be headed to Bed Bath & Beyond to check out stuff, I have an addiction with quilts. Anybody who knows me knows I absolutely love quilts. And when I can get $140, overpriced, of course, they're overpriced to begin with, but if I can get a $140 quilt for $40, I'm all over it. I lucked out and got one more queen. This was the very last queen set in the store. Regular 150, got it for 45. And that comes with two standard shams. Check this beast out. F650. I didn't even know they made an F650. Check it. F650. Just think of the gas mileage that pig gets. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this video right here and I will be seeing you in the next video. To my kids, I miss you. I haven't seen you in a long time and I hope to play some tennis with you when I get back and maybe just hang out and do some other cool stuff. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.